Good morning everyone. It's the final week of my crochet along. Um, really hard to believe that when I think about the first videos that I recorded it seems such a long time ago but on the other hand here we are 12 weeks later. Um, I've really enjoyed recording these videos for you and bringing something a little extra to the crochet along. Um, and today I have come down to the beach really early morning. It's before six o'clock because today it's forecast to be the hottest day of the year here in the UK. It was really, really warm yesterday. So I wanted to try and avoid filming in the middle of the day when it's uh, really too hot to be down here on the beach with no shade. Unless of course you go swimming in the sea, but um, maybe I'll do that later. But for the purpose of this video, um, I've come early morning. And as you can see, there is the sun literally just popping over the cliffs there. And you can hear some of the birds. Really worth getting up early for moments like this. So I've written a blog post um, summarising the crochet along and sharing lots and lots of photos that I've taken over the last few months. Um, because obviously I've had some finished blankets for a while, even though I've made a blanket during the crochet along too. And also on the blog post, obviously, are the final two rounds for our blankets, this fabulous pom-pom edging. Today's Thursday, so the final instalment is due out tomorrow. And yesterday I received a delightful email from Jane Smithson, also known as Jessie, and she'd written me a poem to accompany the crochet along. Um, another of my followers, Marilyn, she shared a poem a couple of weeks ago and it's just so lovely for me to hear from you. And the timing of the email yesterday was perfect because I was really struggling to put into words what this crochet along has meant for me. Um, the timing of it during the pandemic, during lockdown, during what's been a really difficult time for many people. I know that a lot of you have found comfort and joy and a distraction in crocheting these blankets, especially together with a worldwide community. Um, but the poem sums it up perfectly. So actually, thank you, Jessie, you've made my job a lot easier today because I'm just gonna read your poem. It's called Life Can Be A Beach. I'm still in total disbelief as I gaze down at my knee and see this gorgeous blanket here that's been crocheted by me. Three months ago, I didn't know what C-A-L could mean. Who even is this cow, I mused, he's rarely ever seen. I hadn't learned to hold a hook consistently back then or to wind the wool around my hand, I'd hold it like a pen. I only learned some basics last year, made a scarf or two, I'd start a row with 40 stitches, end with 62. So this was quite the leap of faith and I truly never dared. To hope I'd make it to week 12, I was green and slightly scared. But through these crazy lockdown days, I've watched my work unfold and proved that dogs can learn new tricks despite them being old. Oh, the joy of Friday mornings with Eleonora on her beach. This grounding mindful lady with a gift to share and teach, who has generously guided us each step along the way to create the complex works of art we're looking at today. She's shown us all the treasures which formed the base of her design and what a fab result it is, I'm chuffed to bits with mine. I've tackled shells and bobbles, hold my yarn now like a pro, and if I've had a query, there's always someone there who'll know. The Facebook gang who patiently will share their expertise to get beginners back on track and make us feel at ease. Who praise our choice of colours and encourage all the way. Those folks have made this such a joy and stopped me going grey. Together we have tackled stitches previously unknown. We've raised our posts and raised our game as square by square we've grown. Who knew I'd be referring to amphibians and fruits as frogging puffy pineapples formed part of my pursuits. Though frankly life's too short to crab stitch, 
what's all that about? I simply couldn't do it, so I mainly missed it out. A true labour of love through spring and a gift to always treasure. Each moment of this journey has been sheer unrivalled pleasure. So thank you, lovely Eleonora, for your talented idea. You've made a Yorkshire lady pretty proud and thrilled up here. Your weekly strolls with Salty have inspired a world art form. And lockdown memories now for me are blue and cream and warm. I thought that was so lovely and it really captured the essence of the community around this blanket um, and everyone crocheting the same stitches around the same time. Never any pressure to stay up to date. You know, there'll be some people just starting out now and the pattern will be on my blog indefinitely. I have no intention of taking it down. So. It doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter whether you're on week one, week two, still on week seven, or if you've managed to keep up to date. Um, it's just about connecting and doing this together. So thank you for following, thank you for listening. Enjoy your blankets and enjoy the crochet. Thanks for watching. <laughs>